Hello, this is Sarah from Start and today I'm going to be showing you how to do shaving foam marbling. Um, so this is a fish that I've decorated with shaving foam marbling. Um, I've got some other shapes here that we'll try, um, but you can just use plain paper, you don't need to use pre-cut shapes. So for this you're going to obviously need some shaving foam. So I've got Gillette Shave Foam Mousse. Um, make sure you don't buy shaving gel, which is more commonly found, um, because it's gel not foam and it won't work. You may have to sort of whisk it up with something if you do accidentally buy the gel. Better to buy foam. So this is from um, Home Bargains, I think you can get it in pound shops as well, and it's 99p. You probably will need more or less the full can. Um, you need some sort of tray, I've got one of these big turkey roasting trays, some paper, something to mix the foam with that you don't mind getting stained, so I've got these bamboo canes that I've just broken into smaller pieces, and some ink or paint or food colouring is fine to use as well. Um, also make sure that you protect your surface with newspaper, um, it might be an idea to do this outside, um, and have some sort of bin something handy that you can scrape the excess foam into because it can get quite messy if you want to change your designs in the foam. So you want to fill up your tray, I'll show you how much to put in. That's probably about enough. Um, so just cover the bottom of the tray really. Now you could leave it like, like that and drop the ink onto it for a bubbly effect. But I'm going to go for um, some sort of like more peaky pointy effects. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So the next step, I'm just going to fill in, I can just see some holes appear. There, there, and there. There we go. So get your ink. You can choose whatever colours you want, but just think about the colours mixing together and whether they'll make a muddy colour. So I'm going to add a bit of yellow. A bit of blue down here. orange up here. That's an orangey red colour. Mm -hmm. That's quite a lot. <laughs> okay, so now you want to mix it in but not too much. You don't want to mix all the colours together so that you just get one muddy coloured mass because you won't get patterns, you'll just get muddy blobs. So just think about the patterns you're making. So you can choose to draw shapes or um, write things. But you'd have to write backwards. Um, so I'm going to just use the stick to pull the ink through the foam in different directions. And do a swirl. Um, maybe a heart up here. So just have a play around making different patterns. I'm going to try and get some ink from down here because it's all gone down there. Once you're happy with your patterns, stop. <laughs> Don't be tempted to just keep going for ages and ages because that's when it will get muddy. I'm just going to mix a bit more of this blue around because it's all sticking up here. And that was the heart, wasn't it? There we go. Okay. 
to put your stick to one side. So they're the sort of patterns that I've made. So we've got some swirls and some lines in there and a heart at the top. I don't know if you can see that. So now you just get your paper. So you could use a pre-cut shape, like I said, I've got a boat there or just normal paper. I'll go for the normal paper. Just gently lay it down on top of the foam. And then press quite gently from the middle so that all of your paper is hopefully in contact with the foam. And you leave it for a few seconds. Just again, tapping it a bit, making sure it is all in contact. What you don't want is a big bubble in the middle because you'll have a big white space there. Okay, and then you can slowly peel it off. So I'll try and peel it from here so that you can see it. Mm, I did have some air bubbles in, but I think it would be okay. Okay, so that's with all the foam still on it. And now you need to scrape the foam off. So this is what you need your bin for. And I use a piece of card or one of these paper plates cut in half is quite good and you just want to scrape it off so you don't have to be too gentle a shower or a, yeah a shower squeegee is ideal for this um but depending on what ink you're using you may end up dyeing your squeegee a bit so just be aware of that so I'll just show you the process of scraping this off. So it's literally like a squeegee, scraping down and then chucking away that excess foam. So keep doing that until you've got all your foam off and you should be left with your pattern. So ink or food colouring is best to use for this. If you use paint, it may not um, stick quite as well, so you might need to leave it a bit longer before you scrape it off but just have a play around and if there's still a little tiny bit of foam left on you can just dab it on the clean piece of newspaper soak up any more moisture and then you're left with your design so quite like that um, so you can use these as a nice background you can make cards with them or just hang them up like they are, they're quite nice. It's a fun game to kind of try and play, see if you can see shapes in them, characters, and um, sometimes they look a bit like maps. So I'll just try one more. I'll, um, I'll mix the foam around a bit more. Um, I'll put in a bit more blue. I'm trying not to pour loads in, make a difference. Oh, there we go, that's fine. Okay, I'm just going to move the ink around a little bit. Um, some spiky shapes. So we should now have a slightly different pattern. shape if it'll fit. Hopefully it will just about. Ooh, the top might be a bit white. I don't know if you can see at the top there it's just white foam so what I might do is nick a bit of ink from the bottom just so it does get a bit on it. Let's see if that works. Okay so dab the rest of it down. And this is why you need a fairly big tray, so that you can get fairly big shapes in there. So if you've got a smaller tray, that's fine, you'll just need to use smaller pieces of paper or small shapes. So takeaway trays are quite good for this, because then you can just chuck them afterwards if they're really messy. Um, okay, let's have a look. I'm going to peel it off this way because it's a bit easier. Mm. Okay. So that's it with all the foam on. And again, I'm going to scrape it off in this bin with my plate. Or you can use a stick to scrape it off as well. 
but it just takes a bit longer. Much longer. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the plate again. Any bits of card. The Amazon boxes that they send books in are really good for doing this, for scraping off the foam. Any sturdy bit of card is fine. Mm, this is looking better than I expected, actually. So this is a really fun craft for um, young children to do because they really enjoy mixing up all the colours. Sometimes you just need to tell them when to stop so they can get carried away mixing them up and before you know it you've just got a load of mud. Um, but adults can do it as well. I've done this with adults and they enjoyed it. And I'll show you the, if I can, I'll show you the top of the bin in a minute because the bin ends up looking really bizarre with all this strange coloured foam on it. Okay, so I've got the majority off with the plate. Now I'm just going to pat it on the newspaper again to get this off. You might want to have some wet wipes or some paper towels to hand, especially if there's a few of you doing this because it can get really messy and you'll end up with it on your fingers. But the good thing is it's shaving foam, so it smells really nice. Okay. There's our boat shape. It's worked pretty well. Looks really nice on heart shapes as well because they can be used on cards and things. You can hang them in your window. So hopefully that's given you some ideas. And thank you for watching.